Hi, I'm Greg Piper with United City Yachts, Canada's Yacht Sales Network. And today, I'm gonna to take you on a video tour of a 2003 Sea Ray 340. So, let's get started. So the 340 Sea Ray has been a very popular boat in the Sea Ray lineup for a number of years. It has a very versatile layout, which we will show you once we get on board. It has very nice lines. It's got opening ports, lots of light coming in the cabin. See looking onto the bow, you've got your remote spot and your anchor windlass. Sea Ray's 12 volt vent in the windshield. You can see the Raymarine radar as well. Canvas is in very good shape on the boat and the boat's very clean. So headed towards the back. Got the integrated swim platform. It does have a storage locker with dual 30 amp hookups. You also have your wash down, transom shower and more storage. Entering the transom gate takes you right into the wet bar area that features an isotherm refrigeration unit. A generous size U-shaped lounge. Does have the filler cushions as well that makes for into a daybed arrangement. Gonna widen the screen a little bit so you can have a better look. Very unique feature on the Sea Ray 340 is the dual passenger and captain chairs with bolsters, but also we've snuck in another seat with bolsters here. So it can seat three people facing forward. It's got the forward facing radar arch, stainless steel framing, and Lots of speakers, stereo system. Helm's nice looking and features the Raymarine hybrid touch system. Has the Sea Ray systems monitor as well. Now I should mention she is powered by a pair of gas engines with V-Drive configuration. So let's take you on down below. Slightly offset to port is the companionway steps. It takes you down and you land right in the galley area, which is a very generous size, well-equipped dual burner electric stovetop, microwave, nice deep sink and refrigeration. Lots of storage cupboards, lots of storage drawers, and of course, all features that rich woodwork down below. Now, it's a very nice sized mid cabin on this boat. Now, we're storing the bow cushions and the cockpit filler cushions in here at the moment, but it's a very large L shaped setup and also converts, of course, for additional sleeping with a privacy curtain. Your typical settee arrangement fabrics are all in good shape, nice clean headliner. Carpets have a protector on board, and the carpets do show some typical wear and tear. It's your main electrical locker. Typical for Sea Ray, your main master ignitions are down below. You have push button uh, battery switches as well. It's a Clarion stereo system with a CD train changer. And the master berth is a bit of an island berth, very generous size, and it is easy to get up onto because it does have steps on both sides. Now, of course, being a Sea Ray 340 Sun Dancer has all the features you would expect on a boat like this. Uh, for example, the air conditioning. Very good on a hot day like today. I have turned it off, however, at the moment. You see the waste and water monitors on this boat. And you also have your remote start for your generator. Okay, so 
So head back up the steps here. I guess we should have a quick peek at the vacuum flush head system. Uh, this is actually a very nice sized head area. Although it doesn't have a separate shower stall, there's plenty of room in there to take a shower. I'll head back up to the cockpit again. Nice high camper top. Got lots of air movement in here. Look around, she's a clean boat. So, this is a 2003 Sea Ray 340 Sundancer. Now, it's offered for sale by United City Yachts, and more information can be found on our website, unitedcityyachts.com. So visit us for all your finance needs and your cross-border services as well. I'm Greg Piper, and thanks for watching.